In this video, I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about your navigation menu. The navigation menu is what your website visitors will use to navigate from page to page on your site. With the Web Starts page editor loaded, I can click to select my navigation menu. I can then drag and drop the navigation menu where I would like it to appear on my page. Note that wherever you place the navigation menu on a page is where it will be displayed on all the pages of your site. For example, I've moved the navigation menu to the middle of this page. I'm now going to save my page and visit some of the other pages of my site. And you'll notice that on each of the pages, my menu appears in the exact same place. This happens so that your website visitors will have a consistent way to move about your website. Now let's say you have a page on your site, but you don't want it displayed on your navigation menu. If that's the case, you can easily remove the page from your menu by clicking on the dashboard link and returning to your dashboard. From there, you can find the page that you would like to remove from your menu under the My Pages section. Find the column labeled Show on Menu and click the Yes until it becomes a No. That page will now be removed from your navigation menu. Notice the contact page is no longer displayed. Let's say you have a page where you don't want to display the navigation menu at all. You can remove the entire menu from any page by clicking on it and then clicking on the red X icon while it's selected. Notice it will ask me if I'm sure I would like to delete the menu from the page. If you delete the menu from the page and would like to bring it back later, it's really no problem. Simply go back to your dashboard Go to the My Pages section and find the page that you have decided you would not like to display a menu on, in this case it's my home page, and click the No to a Yes. Currently, while it's selected No, no navigation menu is displayed on my home page. As you can see, as I click it and it changes to Yes, a navigation menu is now, once again, displayed on my home page. If at any time you would like to change the order which your pages appear, or the names of your pages appear, on your menu, simply click on the dashboard link and go back to your dashboard. Scroll down to the My Pages section. And then just click on the page order icon and change your page order. As you can see here, your page order will be automatically updated and displayed on your menu. Now if you want to change the name of one of the pages as it's displayed on the navigation menu, just click right on the name of the page and then type the new name and click OK. Again, your menu will automatically be updated. You can see there. There are two primary ways you can display your navigation menu on your website, horizontal or vertical. You can change this by clicking on your navigation menu and selecting the Edit Menu icon. For this example, I'm going to change my menu to vertical. I then click continue. Once you've chosen whether you would like the dis your dis menu to be displayed vertically or horizontally, you can then choose from one of four styles for your menu. For this example, I'm going to choose the custom menu style because it's the most versatile. Once you've made your selection, click Continue. You can go back at any time by clicking the Previous Step link. 
As you can see, I can now change the font, the text size, the color of my menu, and even add some effects. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose the option to display my text as underlined when the cursor is hovered above it. So I've chosen my hover color, and then I check Hover Underline Text. Finally, notice the checkbox next to the words Menu on Top. By default, I'm going to want my menu to always be the top layer of any page on my site. This will prevent me from adding images or text in front of my menu. If I ever want to display something in front of my menu, I can simply uncheck that box to make for an allowance. Now that my menu is completed, I'm going to apply it to my page. I click continue. And notice that my menu has changed. It's now a vertical menu. And my color is the light blue that I had selected. Once the menu is applied to a page, it can be moved to wherever you would like it to appear. Just remember, it will appear at the same location on, an, on every page of your site. I'm going to move it to the top left, for example. I'm going to save my page. And then once again, you'll see, when I change pages of my site, it's consistently displayed in the same location. That concludes this video tutorial. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to build your very own free website and to see more helpful videos like this.